My love of rowing is the boats, the technology. So my interest is in anything that is different. And the boat race isn't governed by any international rules, so you can turn up to the boat race in anything. It is a great opportunity to develop some very adventurous bits of equipment and obviously, hopefully, Oxford win using something different. Because you can't put a patent on a hull design, most of the development in, in boats has been to do with construction and materials. Originally, colleges would have had a boatman that would probably have built them a boat. Um, and he would have been a craftsman in wood. Right, you can still see them from coastal rowing, where they're clinker built. So they are planks of wood that are overlaid one another and then they just seal the joints up. Then the technology started to come in for carbon fibre. Suddenly got lighter, stiffer, nice smooth outer surface. You have the very expensive boats that are made with identical materials that are put into Formula One cars, fighter jets, um, you know, anything that has composites, very similar materials and a small attention has been put to, to some of the moving parts. The riggers have changed in construction. Instead of just being bolted onto the side of the boat, they, 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 they act more as a, a bracing mechanism within the boat. Sides of the boat, okay, illustrated here. Conventional rigger is attached to one side only, so all the stress of the forces that go to the side and potentially flexes the side of the boat. What we got with the ring rigger is something that actually attaches to both sides of the boat, in other words, holds it rigid. And so there's a very little flexion, so it's stronger and also faster. If you look at a very old boat, when you pull the oars, the rigger bends, the side of the boat flexes, and all that is is the energy, the effort that you put into the water disappearing. It's going into the flexing of the riggers, it's going into the flexing of the boat, not the speed. Um, whereas you look at some of the newer boats, especially boats that have wing riggers, it's going into directional energy. Uh, which makes the boat go faster. OUBC boats are 90% of the boats exactly the same as any other club in the country will buy. What we do do that's different is all to deal with the race that we do. The probabilities are that the weather conditions are going to be poor. There is something singularly miserable about being soaked to the skin, even if you're working hard, so you're generating a lot of heat. Originally, I uh, was a rowing coach, and after that I left and worked in Formula One. What we do here is to bring that technology from motorsport into rowing boats. We were approached to produce add-on composite parts that would not necessarily just stop the water, but divert it away from the inside of the boat. It is a limited market, so I, I, you know, we were requested to do it by one of the very few people that need it. Um, there is one other crew that does, but they can't get it. My brief appearance on the television every year is when I push a boat out, and that's as much as the public ever needs to see, because if they're seeing me regularly, then actually it means something's gone wrong. If they don't see Barbara and me, then things are working as they should do. It, it's as simple as that. The joys of this job are the students, because you get them for sometimes two or three years, you see the personalities change. You see people actually going from really irritating little gits into actually quite pleasant, charming, mature men.